Tonight's story, The Real Princess, by Hans Christian Andersen, is better known as The Princess and the Pea. There was once a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she must be a real princess, mind you. So he travelled all around the world, seeking such a one, but everywhere something was in the way. Not that there was any lack of princesses, but he could not seem to make out whether they were real princesses. There was something not quite satisfactory. Therefore, home he came again, quite out of spirits, for he wished so much to marry a real princess. One evening, a terrible storm came. It thundered and lightninged, and the rain poured down. Indeed, it was quite fearful. In the midst of it, there came a knock at the town gate, and the old king went to open it. It was a princess who stood outside. But, oh dear, what a state she was in from the rain and bad weather. The water dropped from her hair and clothes. It ran in at the tips of her shoes and out at the heels. Yet she insisted she was a real princess. Very well, thought the old queen. We shall presently see. She said nothing, but went into the bedchamber and took off all the bedding and laid a pea on the sacking of the bedstead. Having done this, she took twenty mattresses and laid them upon the pea and placed twenty eider-down beds on top of the mattresses. The princess lay upon this bed all night, and in the morning she was asked how she had slept. Oh, most miserably, she said, I scarcely closed my eyes the whole night, though I cannot think what there could have been in my bed. I lay upon something so hard I'm quite black and blue all over. It's dreadful. It was now quite evident that she was a real princess, since through twenty mattresses and twenty eider-down beds she had felt the pea. None but a real princess could have such delicate feeling. So the prince took her for his wife, for he knew that he had found in her a true princess, and the pea was preserved in the cabinet of curiosities, where it still is to be seen unless someone has stolen it. And this, mind you, is a real story. I hope you enjoyed that story. Sleep well, good night, and God bless.